First thing we're going to do is create a new composition, name our comp overlay, make sure the height and width is 1920 by 1080 and full, press ok. Then we want to right click on our timeline and select a new solid, we're just going to leave the settings as they are and select ok. Then we're going to go into effects and presets and search for particle world, CC particle world. Let's change the particle type to lens convex. Physics, we want our particles to float, so we're going to have negative gravity. I'm doing negative 0.110 and gravity vector. We're just going to shift that over and across on the X and Y axis. And it should look a little bit like this when you play it back. Then we're going to head over to producer, change the X and Y radius just to stretch out those particles a bit. Head on down to Animation in Physics and select Fractal Omni. Play that back and make sure it looks okay. You can just play around with the gravity vector X, Y and Z just to change the direction of your particles. So I don't really want them facing forwards, I want them kind of moving in a direction from left to right. I'm going to go ahead and keep gravity X positive, gravity Y negative, and gravity Z a little bit positive. I'm going to head over then to producer position Z, and we're just going to move that outward quite a bit. Just a little bit, move that outward just a bit, and change the Y radius and Z radius again, just so that we have that nice sparse particle effect. Then we're going to go back to our project and select some nice little icons here. I'm using a pixel heart, but you can use leaves. It's completely up to you. So we'll go over to effects and controls, selecting our white solid, and we're going to change our particle type to textured disc. Then we're going to go into texture and select our new heart layer in texture layer and change the color map to origin constant, both sides, Depends how big you want it. I, I want my hearts a little bit bigger, but it's up to you. Um, yeah, and make death size zero. You can hide your heart layer as well, deselecting that eye symbol. And once you're happy with the way it looks, then you can go to birth rate and select 0.5. If you want it to be slower, the faster you want it, the greater your number should be. And longevity, I'm going to do 5, just so that it stays for a longer period of time. Then we're going to search for glow stylize glow in after effects add that to our solid layer then we're going to change the glow threshold to zero glow radius to 46 and glow intensity to two so now we're going to make our background so just right click on your timeline and select a new solid okay we're going to pop that at the bottom of our layers and search for four color gradient add that to that layer and we're just going to make a funnel with color so i want two darks and two lights ideally the middle two should be a bright color and the outer two here should be a dark color like black but you can choose dark blue or dark red it's up to you you can also push these nodes out a little bit and adjust them to see how far away your light source is and how much how intense you want that to be the further away the less intense it will be should get this really cute kind of saturated glitzy effect beautiful right yeah that's gonna be all for this video but hopefully you learn how to make your own overlays today don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye